Okay, this is the Fuzzy Butter Guy, and today I'm gonna I'm gonna give you show you a tutorial on how to make an MCPC server, install a plugin on it, and install a mod on it. I will try to do this as simple as possible. If you have any questions, just leave a comment in the comment section. Okay, so you want to start making a folder and name it well whatever you want, but I'm just gonna name mine server. Then you want to go to MCPC plus, and then you want to enter in, or I mean, you want to go, so you want to, there's, right now it's updated 1.7.2, but if you want the Pixelmon mod, or most of the mods out there are 1.6.4, so anyway, there would be an icon right here that would say MCPC plus. 5 1.5 x builds and then you just click on that except it will be 1.6 and then you would just click here and download it save it we we'll wait for it to download while that's downloading we can look over here at grief prevention so this is the plugin that I'm going to show you how to install if you want me to show you how to install any other mods or plugins just leave a comment in the comment section Anyway, I need to tell you one other thing. There are some mods that require a core mod or something, I forgot what it's called. Anyway, this is the wrong thing. Core, okay, here it is. So, you see, this is a, a core mod. Player API. Now, Player API, you need to have Player API to do s something like Smart Moving, wherever it is. Smart moving, where are you? I can't find smart moving right now. I, uh, anyway, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, here it is. Okay, so anyway, this is smart moving. So in order to have this mod work, you have to have player API in your mods folder in your dot .minecraft. And I'm going to show you how to do that in just a second. I'm also going to show you how to download Forage and... Uh, for your client version and for a server version in another video. Anyway, this is finished downloading. So I'm going to go out and then I'm going to go to downloads. And I'm going to go to drag this out onto my desktop. Now it's called MCPC Plus 1. You want to drag it to your server. Sorry about that. Now to continue. You want to drag that to your debt the down the download to your desktop oh wait I already did and then you want to open up the server and then it should be in here now what you want to do is you want to rename it to something simple I'm gonna name it uh moo okay the next thing you want to do is you want to make um something to start up the server so what you're gonna to want to do oh because you can't uh you can't um, start this up manually you actually have to have a program starter now what you want to do is create a text document and now you want to name it well you don't need to name it right now but anyway you want to go out here and you're gonna uh, want to put well there's a code in the description and you're gonna want to put that code oops okay so anyway what you want to do is you want to type in the exact this exactly the this code will be in the description so you just want to copy that and then paste it into this text document that you have made and right here where it says xmx one gig you want to have this be whatever you want it to be so if you're making you want to if you're trying to make like a huge server and you're just learning how to do it like you want to make money off of it or something you want to go here and you want the more people you have on your server, the more the bet. If you have more memory, the better it's going to run, and it won't crash as often. So I'm going to run my one gigabyte since this is just like a tutorial. Anyway, you want to save this as. Oh wait, sorry, I forgot a step. You want to name this whatever you named your server. So I did moo.jar. So you save this as. And you want to name it, you want to save it as program dot start dot bat. And you want to just save that. And it will, and this will come right here. Then you just want to delete the text document because you aren't going to need that. Then the, this is the, the, before we go on to the next part, 
I'm going to show you how to download these other mods. So, what you would do is you just go to pixelmonmod.com and you would go to downloads. And then you would click one of these links. But I already have the Pixelmon mod downloaded, so I'm not going to need to do that. So, next thing you want to do is if you're downloading the, this plugin, Grief Prevention, you want to go to uh, this link because this link right here can sometimes be have viruses on it, and I wouldn't want to give you viruses. So, you want to click on this. Loading, okay. Then you want to click. Where is it? Okay. Other downloads. You want to click on other downloads. Actually, this. Uh, never mind. Anyway, you want to click on uh, whichever version you want. Right now, it's updated to 1.7.2. Oops. Okay, crap. Um, go back. That's not what you're supposed to do. That's exactly what you're not supposed to do. But anyway, you go to other downloads. Um, then you click on the 1.6.4 if you're running 1.6.4 server. And if you're... Keep clicking on the wrong one. Sorry. Well, anyway, you want to click on 1.6.4 if you're running 1.6.4 server. Or 1.7.2 um, depending on which version server you're running. But I would download 1.6.4 because if you're doing a Pixamon or another mod that's only at 1.6.4, that's what you want to download. Anyway, I've already downloaded Grief Prevention, so that's all you're going to need to do. So, next thing you want to do, once you have those things, drag them to your desktop. Uh, uh, sorry about that. Anyway, what you want to do is when you have your Grief Prevention and your Pixamon mod down here, what you're going to do is you're just going to click your Program Starter. Just double click it. Now it's downloading the libraries and stuff, so this may take a minute depending on how good your computer is. I'm waiting for mine to install. I'm gonna pause the video and I'm gonna be back once it's done. Oh, I've gotten to the point where it's finished downloading the libraries and it's activated the mods. Now it's just preparing your spawn area. And do not stop the server in this process right here. Because if you do, then when you log in to your world, everything will be mutated. And it will be like there's half a bound here, half a bound here, quarter bound here. I mean, it's just really weird. Anyway, once you have that, you're going to, uh, well, after that, you're going to want to set up port forwarding. And I'm going to have another video on that. So you just want to go to my YouTube channel and click that video in my videos section. I will have that up and I'll have that down in the description so that if you need it right after this you can click on it. Anyway, port forwarding is so that people can actually connect to your server. So the next thing you want to do is you just want to click type stop then it will save everything and that's the correct way to stop it so nothing gets deleted in your world. Anyway, now that everything's finished downloading there's plugins and there's the mods so what you want to do is you just want to drag Pixmon into the mod because there's nothing mods folder there's nothing anything important about it and then you I mean sorry it's dumb sorry I'm being so stuttery but anyway when you what I what I meant by it's not an important one means you don't need any core mods or any other mods like that so anyway the next thing you want to do is you want to start up your server to see if it works. What you want to look for is when it says that after it says that it's launching a wrap Minecraft server, it's gonna uh, search for mods. And then see look at activated Pixelmon. And now you know that the mod has worked. Now I don't know why this happened. Apparently it didn't like um, something. Anyway, this should not happen for you. But anyway, it uploaded grief prevention. See, look right here. 
it says found CFG file. This is actually no, this will happen to you like the pixel this warning because the mod is actually accessing all the configs. So next thing you want to do is well now that it works, you're pra practically done, except now you need to have Pixelmon and Forage on your client version. So you want to stop this. And this is how you install Forge on your client version. Now what you want to do, um, so I already have the Forge installer. The link in the description to download it will be there, and you just go and get whichever version you want. Actually, I'll show you how to download it. So anyway, what you want to do is you want to, sorry, this might take me a second. Oh, dear. Forage. And we will go to, so just look up Forage. Then it does Minecraft Forage downloads. Then you want to go, the latest one, so for, actually the latest one is 1.7.2 down here. But this is 1.6.4, which is really what you need to use because you're having Pixelmon. So, but if you don't want Pixelmon, you just do the same pr process that I'm doing right now, but with 1.7.2. Now what you want to do is you want to download the installer, just click here, it should bring you to AdFly or it should just ask you if you want to save it. You want to save that, then you want to drag the download onto your desktop, and then you want to double click on here, Forge Installer. Now if you want to download a server, all you have to do is go to the dot dot dot, then you want to go to roaming, then these are the things on your desktop. You would just make a folder on your desktop, and then you would click on that and then it would bring you back here and you would click OK but we don't want to do the server we will install it to the client so what you want to do is you want to click OK but I already have it installed to the client it should just say that it's installing your libraries and once your libraries have installed then it will have a little thing that says it has successfully installed your, installed your folders but I forgot to tell you about something when you first click on it, it will ask you to run Minecraft manually, like 1.6.4. And the way you go to 1.6.4 is simple, but I have to let my Minecraft launcher load. Anyway, what you want to do is uh, go to, um, well, you would, for, you would just edit your profile. And then uh, you would go down, so here, I'm going to show you an example. So anyway, you would go down here to 1.6.4 you would click that then you would run your minecraft and then you would X that out then you would um, click on double click on forge then you would install it to your client version and then you could click on minecraft again and let me wait for it to load you would just go here and then there would be two profiles your profile and forage. Now you just want to do click on forage and then play and then it will take a little while because it makes all your configs and files 4% after that percent. Anyway, what you if you're using Windows 7, you want to click that little little Windows. I mean, if you're using Windows 8, you want to click that little Windows button in, um, in the bottom left right hand corner of your keyboard and then hold that down and hit R and it should bring up this you want to type in percent app data percent and then click OK and uh, you want to click on dot minecraft and then there's mods now I already put well I have a ton of mods like all these mods but all if you just want pick some on or a different mod you just drag it into the mods folder and there will be a mods folder because you had run forge if there's not one then just leave a comment in the description and show how there might be an error anyway you want to do that then you want to run that again minecraft and then pixelmon should work then you basically have your server and then you have pixelmon installed so the next thing you're going to want to do i'm going to post a video to show you how to port forward. Port forwarding allows you to connect to your server and other people to connect to your server. So that was a tutorial on how to set up Forage, Mods, and other server things in MCPC and Forge servers. Now if you liked the video and if this helped you out, please leave a like, a comment, 
and a please subscribe to the channel if you're new. That was how to install MCPC and a couple other.